How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is Big Daddy Dave and this is a map tour for Farming Simulator 22 on the mod map Edelshoven and we're going to start with the description from the mod hub and it reads Welcome to Edelshoven. The map is fictitious and is intended to represent a region in Central Europe. There is something for everyone where it comes to field shapes and some fields are rectangular and some others are very natural and very and curved in shape. The map is created for small to medium sized uh, blah, blah, blah. The map is created for small to medium sized farms and contains a lot of detail. In addition to agriculture, particular attention was paid to vine and olive cultivation and forestry. A popular plantation was also established. In total, there are 39 fields and 4 meadows. For all forest, uh, forest friends among you, there are 23 forest plots. The cultivation of olives, vines, and poplars was divided into 16 viable plots. A total of 92 plots of land are available for purchase. In order to maintain the fun of the game, 10 productions and 6 sales stations were installed. Selling points include the bakery, carpentry, grain factory, dairy, oil manufacturing, tailoring, raisin factory, spinning, grain mill, and sugar mill. You can sell your products at the country store, the farmer's market, the sawmill, the biogas plant, and the biomass heating plant. Collectibles were also installed. There has been several changes made to this map, and we're going to start with change log 2.0.0.0. And it says, remove floating barrels, adjust the spawn point for cattle trade, in cattle trade, spawn point adjusted at dealer, move starting point to housing container, Trees removed from field 7, terrain height adjusted, signs built in, sound adjusted. Then there's change log 2.1.0.0, adjusted ground collisions, edit the wine and olive plantation possible again, fix terrain editing bug, terrain height adjusted, remove floating trees, icon edited. And then lastly, change log 2.2.0.0, terrain height adjusted, Adjusted floating elements, wrong ground texture adjusted at BGA. This map was created by MN99, MN97, and Martin N, and is 100.44 megabytes to download. Now if we go ahead and take a look at the map, this is what it looks like. There are no mods required for this map, and we start here at the farm, right about center of the map, just a little bit off to the east. We own quite a bit, as you can see, to start out with. We own farmlands number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 79. So quite a bit going on here. And you can see we own quite a bit of fields as well for you know, all those. We own fields uh, 22, 25, 2. We own a bit of uh, popular, feeds, popular fields down here in the south. We own a grape uh, vine orchard right here and a grape vine orchard right up in the north we also own the forestry here on uh, uh, farmland 9 and field number 30 and I think I think that's everything Whew, it's quite a bit quite a bit to, to go off of we do not start with any animal pens or pastures there are contracts available. We do have a couple of production chains, a couple of large greenhouses, and I'll show you those in just a second. And there are collectibles available on the map. They are the video game cartridges, 20 of them to be exact. There are mods specific to this map, nothing under the build menu, but if we check under the, I'm sorry, nothing under the buy menu, but if we check under the build menu, you'll see under sheds, nothing here. Under silos, nothing. Silo extensions, nothing. Containers, nothing. Tools, nothing. And farmhouses, nothing. Under productions, we do have one here, the tailoring factory. So it's similar to the tailor shop uh, with some modifications. Uh, under selling points, nothing. Greenhouses, nothing. Orchards, nothing. Generators, nothing. Animals, nothing. Horses, nothing. Pigs, or I'm sorry, cows, nothing. Horses, nothing. Pigs, nothing sheep nothing chickens nothing bees nothing others nothing decorations nothing under fences 
nothing under lights and nothing other other nothing under others Ugh, words are hard now under landscaping and painting you do have several additional paint swatches which is nice under trees nothing there and under plants nothing there so we start at our starting we start at our starting farm who the tongue is tied i'm trying to untie it as we go <laughs> okay we start at the starting farm so let's take a look at our starting equipment under the buy menu under owned items under small tractors we start with a Steyr 8150 and a Landidi Rex 4 120 GT that is our starting uh, grape and olive har uh, tractor right there it's the itty bitty teeny tiny one uh, only has 112 horsepower very small but uh, does the job very well under medium tractors we have the Kloss Axion 800, the Veltra Velmet 8750, and Massey Ferguson 3670. Under harvesters we have the Deutzfar Topliner 4090H. Cars we have the Lizard Pickup 2017. Trailers the Kloss Carrot 140 TD, the header for the Deutzfar. Under creep technology, which is not often you get this, you have the Furman LWS 12000, which is the grape trailer. You have the Hardy Mercury 4000L, which is the vine vineyard uh, sprayer. And you have the uh, Providus, Providus? Yes. M MP122 Osea? Osea? Yes, also. <laughs> that is the pruner. Uh, trims back all the excess branches on your vines and vineyards. Under mulchers, you have the TMC Kinsella TPN140 plows, the Pottinger Servo 125. Under cultivators, the Raby EG39. Under seeders, the Nordstein HK25 and S3030. Under fertilizer spreaders, the Braydell K105. Balers, you have an Anderson Bio Baler WB55. This is the poplar baler to where you can actually make the cool wood chip bales. Under forestry equipment, you start out with a Kessla 144ND, that is a pickup and uh, cart for your logs, as well as the Prinroth SV or SF900. Prinoth, Prinoth, not Prinvoth. Hi, hi, hi. Okay. So this one is your stump grinder, so you can delete any leftover t trees and stumps that you don't wish to have on your map anymore. You have under animals the Abbey Attachment 1600 water trailer, as well as under header trailers, the Deutz Far Top Liner 4090 trailer for your header. So good starting equipment, not, uh, not too shabby. Starting behind me is your sleep trigger. Over here you have a beehive. Over here you have a greenhouse, actually one of two. Uh, this is the large greenhouse and you can produce uh, lettuce, tomato, and strawberries at both of these. Running over here, right here is the spawn point for our honey. We have a Karma 16 silo which right now is full of seeds and then a solid fertilizer silo which is full of fertilizer so good amount of stuff to start out with one of your starting fields right here good amount of equipment storage here a lot of uh, open space here on this farm you have a silo right here and some more equipment with some of your grape equipment right over here which is nice And I'm going to tell you what exactly what I did. So the truck normally does not start here. Normally the truck, if I bring up the map. So our farm, if I zoom all the way out, is right here. Normally the truck starts all the way up here, uh, right on this little dirt path. I reset it and moved it here so we can kind of expedite our tour. So we're going to go ahead and head directly south from here
driving in between some of the fields right here. Go across the street. Cross the bridge. Continuing up the hillside over here. Up this little hill, almost like a jump. Okay. To my right is the biomass heating plant. Right here, you have a wood cell trigger right here. Over here, you have the carpentry and you can purchase this for $60,000. Your inputs are right here with your wood cell trigger and your outputs are right here on this side here. The For some reason the hash marks aren't there anymore, but that's where it spawns. So now we'll pull back out and take a right. To my left is the sugar factory or sugar mill for 80,000 you can purchase this. Your inputs are on back here, right there, and your outputs are right up front, right there. To my right, tucked back here, is the oil mill. Purchase this for $80,000. And you have your inputs and outputs right here. Continuing down the road just ever so slightly. You have the cereal factory. 110,000 will purchase that. Inputs and outputs. Now, I know this looks like a gas station, but no triggers do come up for it. So, just an FYI that it may look like it, but it isn't. Now, we're going to cut through the oil mill lot. You have a lime station by point right there. And then over here, you have your biogas plant. You can purchase this for just a little bit, uh, you know, $1.6 million, not, not too bad. Inputs are right there for solids, and there you also have your liquid inputs right here. And then over here you have an electrical charge point right there and a biomethane station right there so refill your non-diesel equipment right there and your output for your digestate your liquids right there a couple of very large bunker silos right here very nice The makings of a sinkhole right there. <laughs> now we're going to cut through here. And then we're going to follow this around to the next uh, point of interest. Head down the hill. Across this bridge. And right here. Is the spinnery. You can purchase this for 60000 Your inputs are here and your outputs are right here. We 
we're just going to keep following this lane around. Cross. Now we're onto the two track. Off the beaten path over here. But we are approaching our next point of interest. Tucked all the way back here is the debris crusher right there and sell your wooden wood chip no not wooden wood chips stones stones can go into there Hey, vey okay so we started here at the farm we took in all the various points of interest in points of interest around here we then crossed the little creek river thing right here went all the way down across this bridge went up and around over to here and then we saw the biomass heating plant as well as the carpentry came over here saw the sugar mill the oil mill the cereal factory and then the pseudo look-alike gas station right here we then pulled back through through the oil mill parking lot then into here where we saw the lime station the bio uh, biogas plant and then the biomethane and electrical charging stations right there. Came back through, out, up to here where we saw the spinnery, up and around. And do -si do through the woods till we saw the debris crusher. And that is where we're at at the moment. We're going to continue up in this direction. Got a lot of people back here for some reason. Must be just walking around the lake. Now I am going to cut through up here. This is just a walking path, but otherwise I have to go way out of the way to our next point of interest, which is right here. This is the farmer's market. It's a sell point. Whoops. Sorry about that. Now we're going to come up to town here and we're going to start by making a left to my right right up here is another lime station buy point for your lime to my left right there is the bale sales sell point and again to my left is the animal dealer you can purchase all your livestock right here because I don't have any barns or pastures put in, I can't load directly from here. But if you have barns or pastures loaded onto your map, go ahead and come to this location, click on the icon, and then you can load directly from here. Now, the only problem is that if you buy from here directly, you will be, you will incur a fee for the delivery. You can also buy animals from your barns and pastures directly, but again, you run in the same issue where you're going to have a delivery fee associated. So essentially, the first method you're deliver you're simulating the delivery from this location to your barn and pastures. The second scenario you're simulating basically getting on the phone and having them still deliver from this location to your barn and pastures, just where you're kind of triggering the event to happen. But, to save on that delivery fee, how you get around that is you either purchase or lease an animal trailer. Bring it to this location, load directly into that animal trailer. Once you do that, you can then deliver to your barns and pastures, wherever they may be on the map, and then you save that delivery fee. And for certain animals, like your cows, your adult cows are $150 per head. That means that if you have a very high capacity pen and you're delivering all of them or having them delivered to you you're getting charged quite a bit of money horses are like three hundred dollars a head so you can save quite a bit of money by just doing the work yourself and uh, delivering the animals yourself now I'm gonna stop right here actually across the street here is the bakery and you can purchase this for fifty thousand dollars and your inputs and outputs inputs right here and outputs I believe are actually back here but again I don't think it's being marked where are the outputs hmm. it might actually be over here I'm not uh, I'm not 100% certain but I think they might be here in the front 
Got a little traffic jam right here. People are being stubborn. So we'll just go around them. Now coming up here to my right. Stop right there. We have a wardrobe trigger right there. And this is the tailoring. You can purchase this for $100,000 and you have your inputs here and your outputs right here. It's just a normal tailor shop, or at least aesthetically it is. Uh, just some slightly different uh, recipes are in there. And you know what? Seems that they're different recipes. How about we go ahead and buy it just to, just to see. We'll borrow some money. And there you go. Two fabric, one clothes. That's it. Cycles per month, 3480 3, $240 per month cycle costs. So, not too bad, not too bad. Now, up here, right here, we have the dairy inputs and outputs, and the trigger for it is right here. $70,000 will buy you the dairy. And now we're gonna head around. You can see off in the distance, well barely, you can see back there in the background is our starting farm. So we're just kind of, at this point, just kind of going around in circles around the farm, taking in all the various uh, points of interest. But coming up here, oh, you can see it much better over there now behind the trees. Coming up here is the main shop area. We'll stop right here. You do have some starting equipment here. So you have your pruner up here for some reason. Don't know why, it's just here. Shop trigger right here. And repair trigger right here. Now again, that looks like a gas station. At least it should be a gas station. As far as I'm aware, there is no gas stations on this map. You cannot refill anywhere. As you can see, driving a truck and can't refill. Now, just so I'm not telling tales, nope, no trigger coming up whatsoever. And actually, here, just to confirm, come to the mat or come to the items here. Diesel. No buying or selling stations, so it means that you can either buy it or sell it anywhere on this map. So have a mod ready and downloaded so that you're able to purchase diesel otherwise eventually you're gonna run out and you'll have to sell your equipment and you know on the side of the road and they won't be pretty couple of uh, plots here for your grapes on the left and not yours but some olives on the right Now here, if we were to take a right, you can kind of see it over there, that kind of elevation rocky area. That's the first bridge we crossed to get over towards like the biogas and all that. Over here though, making a left, tucked out in the middle of nowhere, rather nicely, is the grain mill. And you can purchase this for $96,000. Your inputs are right here and outputs are right there. Right on the lake there. Very, very nice. And now we're just going to follow this around. Yeehaw. Yeah, no, 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 no. Whew. Landed on my tires. One of your fields to the left right there. I think that's your largest starting field. And now we're on the back side of the grape and olives. Now we're just going to follow this straight north along the edge here. You have another starting field of grapes right there. It's, uh, I believe the first set 
of grapes right there are yours. And I think we have to go this way. Or did I? Nope, I went too early. Too early. There we go. Up and around. There we go. Right here, this is the grape processing unit, and you can purchase this for $80,000. Outputs here, inputs around the back. We're going to keep following this uphill. And coming up, up just about right here is where your starting truck, like it was where the truck starts out on the map. Um, so if you started a brand new, uh, new farmer mode, that's where the truck's going to be originally. And just keep going up and up and up. You got some more olive groves right to your left there. Follow this around. And we'll, yeah, we'll keep going. Let's keep going. But right here, though, we'll stop right here. Over here is a sawmill. You can purchase this for $100,000. Your wood chip output is right there. Your input for your wood is here with the wood cell trigger right there. And your output for your productions are right there. Now we just need to keep following this around. And we're going to head towards our last points of interest. Make a right there. Oops. And keep heading out towards the west side of the map. Make a left. And then follow this in here. Off to my left, right over in the corner there, is a, another lime station, another buy point. Straight ahead is the farm shop right here, sell point. And also the farm shop sell point. So you have your loose grains that can go in here, and your kind of production bales and stuff like that can go in here. And that is the map. That is Edelshoven. Now we're to the point where I render my opinion. Standard 0 to 5 applies. And, who man, I love this map. I legitimately love this map. I, before doing YouTube, would play this map regularly. I love how you have almost every single facet of Farming Simulator is on this map. And you have some fields that are just standard, kind of squared off, very easy to hire workers and to just kind of play, you know, familiar, familiarize yourself with the map. And then you got other ones that are just blah, 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 just everywhere, you know, uh, very natural kind of fields that just kind of were put in how they were put in because that's the way that the land dictated they were put in. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the the way that this map is, whoops, that's where I meant to turn. The way this map is laid out, the kind of natural feel of the road network, it's like it's just carved in where it had to be, not because this is where I necessarily want it to be, but just it feels kind of naturally blended into the countryside. Um kind of almost like those roads that you know are just there because it's the path of least resistance so it was very meticulously 
carved out of the ro uh, out of the nature kind of thing. It it's just it belongs there because it was easy kind of thing. Um, then you've got the color palette of the map is just absolutely spot on. Um, you do get a lot of speckles of color with the flowers there, the pinks, reds, and blues, and it's borderline too cartoony. It is very, very close to being too much, but it's still on the good side of acceptable. Very, very close to not being there, but we can we can live with it. Um the elevation height changes going from one terrain to another you kind of have some smooth areas towards the middle of the map and then you as you get to the kind of the outer peripheries that's where it's like m very hilly almost mountainous in the terrain differences um you've got so many different types of road networks you kind of have these kind of side main quote side roads you got the main kind of perimeter road that goes through the town and then you got like these two track dirt tracks kind of like what I'm on right now that will cut around the map around the fields and really kind of take you what feels like out into the middle of nowhere as you can see here like there's nothing out where I'm at right now and you know going around some of the kind of outer perimeter areas some of the wooded areas like to my right here is a lot of the woody wooded areas like th there's just a little bit of everything on this map and literally a little bit of everything especially in regards to the farming you have your arable crops that are going to go into your fields as normal you have poplar groves it is so infrequent and so rare that I'll see a map was starting with poplar fields on it somewhere, let alone ones that you own. Um, you do own a section of poplars down in the southern southern portion of the map. Um, <clears throat> there's uh, traditional forestry. There's vineyard work for grapes. There's orchard work for uh, olives and it's all standard built into the map and that's pretty rare that a map maker will do that so yeah long story short did a, a fantastic job on this map i really really like it the only thing that I can say that is any kind of criticism anything negative to say about this map are the stock standard um production points I don't think, I've always said that it's fine that the stock standard production points are used. That's okay if they're dressed up in a certain way. Um, now, the one kind of redeeming factor that the stock standard uh, production points have on this map, in my opinion, are the terrain is so beautiful in, in almost the vast majority of the map between the undulations the rolling hills and all that stuff but then you get to like these places here and it's just like plunk it's here it's got this really kind of you know asphalty border kind of thing and it just really just seems unnaturally unnatural that it's here um and it's kind of like that for the majority of the placeables and the productions and things like that so it's it's really kind of jarring and off-putting once you get to these kind of production sites so it, it's just that's probably the only negative thing I could say and if it wasn't for that or if they were dressed up ever so slightly the map as a whole would be a five five day and night in my opinion if there was just a little bit of extra attention was paid to those production points but without that being done I would still give this map a 4.5 solid 4.5 I think that the uh, standard 
production points is just a small little bump when you take everything in totality. This is still a great functional map. Like I said, I've played it personally for many, many, many hours. Um, it's, it's just a very fun map to, to do. And you've got so many different trails and ways to get to and from different locations around the map that it makes it feel very, very large, especially if you're not using a vehicle like what I have here, just a normal pickup truck that can go 70 miles an hour. If you're limited to 25 to 32 miles an hour, well, then you're, you're going to take a while before you get to anything of interest. You know, so it's just one of those that uh, the way that all the roads are just laid out, it just makes it feel just unnaturally large, much larger than what it actually is. And then, like I said, just the views like you got that kind of cliff face right there with the with this giant cornfield just going up into the hillside. Like, that's just spectacular, to, in my opinion. You've got that uh, limed field to the left there. That uh, also is fantastic looking. But then you've got the sunflowers here to the right that's just kind of running down the hill. And it's less of a steep transition except for this one area coming up right here where it's just like... Zoop. Like, tell me in the wintertime that would be a perfect sledding hill. Throwing it out there, because why not? <laughs> Just why not? But yeah, four and a half out of five. Really, really like this map. Love it. Um, and highly, highly recommend it. Give it a shot if you haven't already, because good times to be had. But that is the map tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please show me by liking, sharing, subscribing, following, commenting, doing all the things. The algorithms enjoy the mm, blah, 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 blah. the algorithms enjoy you doing. That shows you're engaged with this channel and enjoying the content. That being said, I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care.